Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a new bottle from a distillery which has been mothballed for, well, I think 14 years, since 1999 until 2013. It's Glenkeith. Glenkeith, located in the Eastern Highlands, a company which produced very much for the blended whiskey industry in the, I think it was the uh, Chivas Brothers uh, portfolio of whiskies, of blended whiskies. And in the year 1993 or 1994, when I was the first time in the East Highlands, I visited uh, Glen Keith, and there they showed me their newest bottle. Then it was a 10 year old just on the market. They tried to start it for new, but they didn't succeed in. And after a few years, the bottle vanished from the shelves and there was no Glen Keith at all available. Now there is a Glen Keith distillery edition with 40% ABV and the price of below 30 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. And uh, well, it's a very typical Highland whiskey. Uh, it was a very typical Highland whiskey, if I remember right. And this time we will see uh, what happened to the new bottling. It does not show an age statement and just says matured in traditional oak. And uh, well, this belongs still to the space side in Scotland. It's not exactly Eastern Highlands, but it's in the east, in the very east of the space side. Yeah, this is this. And here, do we have more? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, just everything. All right. Ah, distilled by master craftsmen on the banks of the River Isla and aged in the fine, not to uh, mix up with the Isle of Isla, uh, with the finest traditional oak cast. This is a smooth, distinctive single malt with hints of freshly picked orchid fruits and a rich toffee notes. Yeah, that's it. Do I have a glass here? Yes. Just forgot. It's a first taste in this session. So they changed from a very uh, low, not that tall bottle to this probably standard liquor bottle. So in the beginning they had a, uh, a lot of efforts to bring that whiskey out but didn't succeed in and now they just bring it out as a standard liquor bottle and that saves money for the glass. This is quite a Typical space cider Highlander. Fruity, not too strong, it's just 40 ABV. And uh, yeah, this is one of the lead blends uh, of the Chivas uh, Regal. And uh, yeah, have a look. Really fresh fruits, smooth, no alcohol at all. Sweet caramel, candy. So it's very, very pleasant, very light in the nose. So this is good for a novice to the single malt whiskies. Yeah. Mm hmm. Taste moves on, quite interesting. A little honey note, a little vanilla, caramel. Not that fruity or light, fresh fruity as it was in the start, but now shows a distinct oakiness in the aftertaste. So there are, there is quite an age in this whiskey, otherwise the, uh, the oak wouldn't be, have been there. But it's straightforward, it's medium, long aftertaste, shows some spiciness. It's a, well, 
mainstream single malt whiskey from the space side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The price is quite low. There's no age statement on it, no particular sherry cast mentioned. Oh, this is fair value for the money. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Thank you.